what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm here with another video so literally I know you clicked on this video because of the title and watch this whole video because at the end of this video I will be giving you guys I will be giving away my wig vendor for Allure 96 100% free but you gotta watch the video to get it But before I get into that information, I want to go ahead and go through some photo shoot stuff with you guys. So I was literally sitting here and I'm putting together another photo shoot for Allure 96 and I just kind of wanted to give you guys like a checklist on some of the things that you need to look out for and some of the things that you need to do in order to put together your very own photo shoot. If you by any chance do live in the Chicago area, the photographer that I use, her name is B by B Moore and I will tag her information below uh, in case you happen to live in the Chicago Chicago area and you want to get your photos done by that particular person as well but whenever I'm in the process of putting together a photo shoot it's a it's a few critical things that I like to put into place for one finding a model it's very difficult um, finding a consistent model that has the face the image that I want um, that that is not camera shy uh, so some ways that you can go about finding you a model for one, you can use an easy source, which would be social media, and find someone who does have the look that you're going for, along with the personality behind the camera that you would prefer as well. And then you and that person can discuss if this is going to be a, a free shoot or discuss ratings. But then after that, you need to figure out exactly the theme of the photo shoot that you would like. If this is going to be your very first photo shoot that you are putting together, I recommend having a very simple theme, not too many props, very basic. And when I say basic, I mean with a solid colored background. So when you, you're putting together these photo shoots, you can either have uh, an actual background, meaning you can film outside or you can shoot outside you can shoot in front of a beach you can shoot in front of a house or in a house in a kitchen in wherever you choose to shoot or you can go the more I like to call it the basic route and shoot with a background with a backdrop uh, and that's something that I strongly strongly recommend in the very beginning stages of when you are putting together a photo shoot a simple white background it's super elegant it's super flawless it's super it's, it's, it's super versatile the next thing that I recommend is no props if this is your very first photo shoot now if this is your second third fourth photo shoot you're probably nine times out of ten not watching this video so i'm just going to mainly gear this towards the people who maybe this is their first or second shoot with their company if this is your first shoot i recommend maybe having two or three pop props maybe some blooms in the background nothing too much because you don't want to take the focus from your actual hair or the hairstyles within your particular photo shoot something the next thing that i want you guys to really pay attention to is the outfit the the attire or outfit selection that you do choose your models to wear if you're having a photo shoot for a hair company i recommend something as simple as a leotard something something that's a solid color that represents the your brand colors for your company as well in the in the beginning especially if this is your first or second photo shoot i want you to 100 percent cater your photo shoot around the actual hair and the hairstyles that your that your models are wearing and you can find simple leotards online you can go to fashion nova you can go on forever 21 now it's the winter time so leotards and all that good stuff may not be super in season but it is out there you just have to do the footwork and you have to actually look for these particular pieces but a simple a simple onesie type leotard bodysuit will, will suit suit your company just fine because once again it'll still have the attention on the hair make sure that the outfit selection that you do decide to use do not overpower the hair because you have to think about it you're having a hair company photo shoot not a boutique clothing photo shoot so i want you guys to definitely keep that in mind the very last thing that i want you to focus on when you are creating a photo shoot for your business is the edits the edits are super important so make sure the photographer that you do choose once you go through the film to see the photos that you would like the photographer to edit make sure that they edit them exactly to the T make sure the background is super crisp make sure there's no errors um, and if there are demarcations or blemishes that you know your model may have make sure they get airbrushed out accordingly but putting together a photo shoot 
it's honestly very simple very easy the key thing is do not overthink it okay but yeah this is just a super quick video about photo shoots and drum roll it's time for the the big prize <laughs> so i'm doing this just because it's the end of the year and you know a lot of you guys for the for the first or january 1st you guys want to start start going through your journey as far as entrepreneurship go so the vendor that i am about to give to you guys this is a vendor that i was using to supply all of my wigs now if you guys have worn any of allure 96 wigs with prior to the last three months ago you guys would know that the hair quality is amazing the product is amazing the vendor is amazing the communication is amazing with this particular vendor but the vendor that i'm giving away is pegasus wholesale that is the company that once supplied all of my wig units not my bundles but the wig units with allure 96. i will leave their information below for you guys as well so you can check out uh, their instagram page and also you can browse their website and actually you know contact speak with them via whatsapp and so forth and don't forget december 14th i will be having another webinar all the details will be below but if you guys do have any questions or concerns about anything you're more than welcome to reach out to me via email but yeah i hope you guys are having an amazing holiday and i will speak with you soon have a good one see you guys